Not that uh, I know they call us celebrity readers. I don't know why they said that because I'm not really a celebrity. I'm just uh, an ex-teacher, I guess, coming back to let you know that I do believe that reading is probably the most important subject that you have all the way through elementary, middle school, and high school. Math was my favorite. But reading, I still think, is probably the most important. And the reason for that is you have to know how to read to do your other subjects. Whether it's social studies, science, even math, you still have to know how to read the questions and things like this. But I think reading is very valuable and go from there. I was asked to bring some of the things that I like to read. I know that I'm retired now, so I Howard put his face in his pillow and started to cry. He cried and cried. Monster pulled his spider web over his face and started to wimple. He wimpled and wimpled. Between sobs, Howard heard a strange sound. It sounded sad. Between wimples, Monster heard a strange sound. It sounded scared. Howard peeked over the edge of the bed. A very sad face looked up at him. Monster peeked out from under the bed. A very scared face looked down at him. I thought frogs were little green guys with webbed feet. Well, no matter. If you're a prince, you're a prince. And I can't have any princesses running, rescuing Snow White. Here, eat the rest of this apple. The prince, who knew his fairy tales and knew a poisoned apple when he saw one, didn't even stay to say no thank you. He turned and ran deeper into the forest. Soon he came to a strange... But they were trembling and trembling and trembling. We shall have to build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Just then they saw a truck coming along the road with barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. Please, will you give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars, and armor plates, and some heavy metal padlocks, they said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. The Treaty of Peace with England and the Declaration of Independence. It's remarkable that one man could achieve so much in a lifetime. He certainly has helped to form the modern world. <coughs> Will he continue to help form the future? And that's it. Did anybody have any questions or comments on the book? Or? No? And if one of the guys who usually played with them didn't show, they always did. But there was one problem. His name was Mark, and he was the tallest boy on the court. What's the matter, Mikey? Too short? Mark flapped his arms in Michael's face. Over here, shouted Larry. But when Michael threw the ball, Mark's long arms came out of nowhere and knocked the ball away. Twilight and all this. And they're like 600, you know, 1,000 pages long. And you're like, oh my god, how are they reading that? And then you see some people are always reading magazines. Well, either way, even if you read like a thousand page novels or you read some magazine, you can still be like just as good a reader or just as intelligent. But you're like, what you think is interesting is different. Because if I go in the library right now, I don't think I'm going to find any books that are really like GQ. Because you learn how to read now. And even when I was young, I didn't really like to read, to be quite honest, until I was out of college, if you can believe that. I was able to read, but I really didn't enjoy it until I had a roommate that didn't go to college, but she read lots of books. And she said, you don't read and you're a teacher? And I said, I think the fourth is my favorite. The Goblet of Fire. I like the, the competition they had, the trials. And it's pretty it's white kid the lamp with a flame with a teeth. Okay, so now remember, he's riding between 11 o'clock and midnight. Across roads that you wouldn't travel today. Didn't have any super highways. He's riding through the country, okay? So he left the village and mounted the steep and beneath him trampled and broad and deep in the mystic meeting with the ocean tides and under the outers that skirt its edges. Now soft on the sand, now loud on the ledge, is heard the tramp of his steed as he rides. It was poor. Yeah, and they looked. And it had tons of them. And they had this silhouette on it, right? I and thought you wouldn't get it because he doesn't the beard, but he doesn't have his top hat on.